you're welcome back to the channel i'm your host joey sparks that's two e's no why you heard me two e's no why and in this video we are going to be reacting for the very first time to nova rockefeller did your best we all know started off enjoying her videography because i couldn't believe tom was smart enough to take advantage of um, his lady's talents for that. And then somebody told me that she's also a music artist herself and she has been for years. So I'm enjoying this complete artistry rabbit hole of Nova. So if you're ready for me to react to did your best for the very first time, then let me know. But first, you know, I got to play. Take that down. Put this up. Before we get started, do me a favor. Like, comment on all the content, preferably as soon as it comes out. Helps my videos go higher in the algorithm. Stay there for longer. I'll appreciate you for it. Symbiotic relationship. I appreciate you. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm a music videographer by trade. So I take that POV into all the reactions I do here on the channel. I also do reviews, unboxings, and interviews. So please Hit the subscribe button, join the family, make some friends in the comments. Without further ado, let's jump into this. Now, this is Nova's song. I checked. Doesn't give any. It says produced by my boyfriend, Tom McDonald. Shout out to him for the beat. Mix and mastered by our brother, Terry. Bet. No one's telling me who shot it. So, maybe check that first comment. What's that first comment talking about? absolutely amazing the song hit me hard nope she doesn't have anything pinned okay so maybe someone shot it handed the shots off to nova okay so we got to remember that as we watch it okay let's go or i don't know if that's the case we got to remember that we don't know so we got to hypothesize all right let's go <laughs> At school he couldn't do the work The kids all called him retarded He got a job in a warehouse Where he packed and cut carpet And he never moved up And he never fell in love He's 50 but really 12 Thinking about giving up She married young And always felt like she had gotten too deep Started feeling like her only way out was to cheat Her friends all villainized They didn't see she was weak Hold up, who's she talking about? Is she talking about Tom? Oh my god Hold on. He got a job in a warehouse where he packing cut carpet and he never moved up and he never fell. First of all, shot amazing. Do you see how these there's no high like there's not even highlight one on her face at all is so beautiful. Um meaning like a harsh light source, you know, like it's just reflecting. Shooting on the saddle side, right? That is not what's lighting up her on this side because that light would never make it to this portion of her face. So there's obviously key light off to the side, keeping it really natural in the room, though. So like probably on a little bit of the warmer side, um, the light tone. Beautiful, beautiful. The job in a warehouse where he packed and cut carpet And he never moved up And he never fell in love He's 50 but really 12 Thinking about giving up She married young And always felt like she had gotten too deep Started feeling like her only way out was to cheat Her friends all villainized They didn't see she was weak It's been 20 years and it still breaks her heart That they don't speak He was a rock star in small bars until the gigs weren't paying bills, he had his daughter in the car. And he knew he had to make the choice to put down his guitar. And every day he wonders if he could have been a star. I know you did your best. Is she talking about her father? Oh. That's so amazing. Um. Oh, Nova. 
trying not to break down. I got more reactions to do after this. I can't be like red eyed for him. Uh, wow. That's like, <sighs> how many sacrifices? Oh God. As parents, do we make for our kids? And then how often do those kids come back and go, thank you for that specific sacrifice. And this sacrifice dreams of being a musician or something like that. I know tons of people who stop doing music altogether because they see, you know, I got a wife, I got a kids, the kids came on the way. So I had to, you know, I had to go get a regular nine. If I got to go work down at the post office or whatever it is and that kills our art. Oh, Diagnosed with Parkinson's, it's something she lives with. We're strong and independent now, we're lies and the children. Her voice shakes when she speaks, she's embarrassed, she hates to talk, and every day she wakes up wondering if new parts of her are lost. This is a shout out to both their parents, or both of her parents. Um, the beat is slapping. Um, when she's rapping in that room, fire. Once again, if you'll notice, there there is a wide take, which is this one, and then they cut between this and like a close up on occasion. So they shot it once wide and once a little bit more portraity close up. Super dope. I do that technique all the time. Love it. Kudos to Nova if she was directing that in the back of her head. It was like you got to shoot this here. Um, I understand she couldn't shoot any of this, but she, I know. I have before been able to tell somebody, hold the camera, and this is kind of what you want them to look for and frame and then use it later and find out it still works. Um, I really like her performing at the table on occasion, though. Like, while everybody else is eating, she's rapping. It just kind of brings us in because we're already listening to her spit um, or sing. And so, like, as soon as we see her mouth lip those, we want to, we, like, our eyes just normally do that to whoever's, you know, singing the music or whoever's rapping the lyrics, we want to go to because we can understand better. And then for that to kind of bring you into this table where it's all about family and love and happy and stuff like that. Um, dope, 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 dope. Talking every day, she wakes up wondering if new parts of her are lost. He got him pregnant before he could finish school. He got busy acting dumb because he didn't know what to do. He ignored he had a girl till her mother stopped calling too. On his deathbed, he wished for the daughter he never knew. She loved a family, two girls and two boys. Husband in the garage, she yells she's sick of the noise. And the one day he's out riding and he dies in a crash. Now she do anything to have the buzz of his sock. This is mainly about her pops. I know you have nothing left. But there's more to you than the wars you lose, you'll see. Everybody made mistakes. Everybody crash along the way. It might be gone up and fast. Second one today. <laughs> Shot Logan, shout out to you. Directed by Nova. Okay. Actually, I read Logan's name before, so um, must go to must be like a go to person when we need other shots. Um, oh my god! 
if you're if you don't know, uh, maybe you're just I mean, maybe you haven't discussed it with this particular group um, of musicians for reactions. Um, if you've seen any of my Sam reactions, I just did a Knox Hill one today. It's like um, I lost my father, and it screws with me like big time. Right. And it is the one portion that I can't control, really. And so then when I hear other people speak about their parents passing, I'm a special spot here because I know I know what kind of hole that makes. So um, shout out to um, Nova for making a song because, God, the thing that choked me up, it was she's telling him, I know you did your best right and like i said earlier how often do parents get to hear that specifically about the sacrifices they make and after you know you get to the hospital and you're me specifically after i get to the hospital and i'm with the rest of my family and they don't go take us into the hospital room they take us into the chapel room and so you know what's about to happen and so they tell you that he didn't make it and um then after that, they take you back up to see him one last time. And in that moment, that's where I had some of the same sentiment. Shoot. Um, like, man, you killed it for me, bro. And he did. Um, and so you be wanting. Ah, you be wanting the time back to tell him that. So they can hear while they still hear. You know? But we think our parents are going to be here forever, so. You just don't think about it. That's what happens. And then you got to have some strong friends and family. Because, boy, throw your world upside down. So I feel for her. My heart breaks. Um... And shout out to, like I said, um, the the music video quality helped really draw me into what was going on. And in that second verse, I was thinking she was going to speak about her mom and how her mom did her best, which I think, you know, the song sentiment can still have some meaning towards her mother. But like um, it was like another way to kind of tell this this father story. And golly. Tom, when he came back to the doorway and sold it, and then Nova put her hand in her head, or her hand in, um, right here. Do anything to have the buzz of his sock. I know you did your best. There was a lot to lose. Don't yeah, the transition. Then going into the living room that now looks more like a You know, like a wake or something. You know what I mean? Um, ugh. Shot. Death is not easy. And if you're having any problems with it, feel free to holler at me. I can't read all the comments all the time, but if I can um, give you any advice or any little um, words of wisdom or, you know, even truth you don't want to hear, I'll be open to do that. Make sure you, um, make sure if you're not, you're sub to. Nova, sorry. Um, Nova, Tom, they're phenomenal. Um, shout out to Nova's videography skills. Shout out to her musical artistry as a music a musician because she's phenomenal. She can rap and she can sing. And now I'm just getting more and more proof that she can also be a great storyteller. So shout out to her. Catch me on the next reaction. I got to get out of here and put myself together. Peace. <laughs>